What's up everyone, welcome back to this week's video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to get a third person point of view, something like this, out of King Spray, out of your headset, onto your PC, so you can post it on Facebook, YouTube, all your social media platforms. So, let's jump into it. Okay, to accomplish this, we're gonna need one thing. We're gonna need our USB to USB-C cable. I'm gonna do a little sample piece in King Spray. I'm gonna screen record it using the third person point of view technique that I use. We're gonna then hook up our headset to our PC, and I'll show you how to extract the footage. The way we drill down the folders will be exactly the same whether you're using Mac or PC. Only thing that's different is if you're using a Mac, you're gonna need Android file transfer. Download it, install it, and then we'll jump into the video. If you're liking our videos, hit that like button, drop a comment below, and as always, subscribe. That goes a long way for us here at the channel. We're gonna hop into VR, do a recording, extract it, then we'll be done. As you can see right here, I got a just a quick little throwy that I did for you guys just to use as a sample. This is how you get your third person person point of view and this is how you get the recording. The first thing you want to do on your right hand click the oculus button and that's going to bring up this menu that we see right here. This second icon right here is the record button. Hit record. Hit record now. I'm already recording so I'm going to leave that alone. To get back into the game hit the oculus button again and now we're going to go to the cell phone. If you're already just painting you're using colors flick the joystick until you get the cell phone to pop up and then right here what you're going to want to do is click replay. Replay is going to erase the piece and it's going to replay just the spray painting part and it's going to pop up a little character with the hat and hands and you'll basically just sit back and just watch yourself repaint this piece. That's how I get my third person point of view recordings. Let's go ahead and let's hit replay right here and you'll you'll see what happens. Perfect. So it's gonna save it. And as you can see, there is my third person point of view. I'm recording on the headset. So that's how I'm capturing uh, this video. After this, I'm going to hook it up, my headset to my computer, and I'm gonna extract the files for you guys. I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that. We're getting the replay. And it's pretty cool because you get to sort of like watch yourself paint your piece. We don't always get that perspective, but this is going to record and replay all the times that you were painting. So if you ever took a break to get some water, the replay is going to play just the spray painting portion. It's just going to show how you painted your piece just straight from beginning to end. What I like to do during this process to make my third person point of view replay videos a lot cooler is I'll jump around from side to side and I like to get these cool angles, get creative with it so that when you're editing it, when you're cutting it up in post for social media, YouTube, wherever you're going to post it, you have all these cool angles and it makes your post editing a lot easier. I'll stay here for a little bit. Now the only downfall to this, if you spent three days working on a very detailed piece, you're going to have to sit here the whole way through and just watch yourself repaint the piece. You're going to have to sit here for like two, three hours, you know, so just be mindful in that. I wish there was a way to like skip ahead or to um, pause, rewind, and there really isn't a way. You do your best to capture all the cool angles, all the content, get all this kind of stuff. Ah, that's funny. Look, I didn't like that, so I redid it and again it's just playing exactly how I painted this piece just try to use this moment this time to get all the cool angles that you could possibly want and we could get nice and in there show the little details I've tried hacking this where I'll put tape over the sensor and leave my headset to just record all of it and just in one stationary spot for me that didn't work we got our piece we recorded the whole process now what I do at this point I'll use this time to get finished shots a nice centered pan Hand from the right angle, looking at the whole piece. As soon as you're done recording your third person point of view, in fact, there's a red dot in the headset that lets you know you're recording. As soon as you're done, hit that Oculus button again on your right. There it is, video, you can now view your video. Now let's set back up on our table. I'm gonna hook up the headset to my laptop and I'm gonna show you guys how we extract this footage so that you get high quality third person point of view perspectives. We got done uh, recording our third person point of view in the game. Again, what we did was we hit the Oculus button, you hit record first, then you go back into the game, go to your cell phone and you click replay, and then boom, that's gonna replay all your footage. I'm gonna show you how to transfer it from your headset onto your PC. And again, we're gonna use our USB to USB-C cable. If you're using a Mac, you're gonna need a Android file transfer. And um, let me show you exactly how 
to get that and where I go to get mine for my Mac. I Google search free Android file transfer Mac. I went down to the second link, which is android.com. I mean, that seems pretty trustworthy. So let's download it, open it up. All we gotta do is drag the green Android file transfer icon to our applications and we could see it's copying Android file transfer to our applications in our Mac. So while that's transferring, let's hook up our computer to our headset. And when you hook up your headset to your computer, you're gonna get prompted in the headset to allow access to data, plug in our cable. And exactly in the headset, we get allow access to data, click the blue button that says allow. This is done installing. Android file transfer is an app. Do you wanna open it? Let's click open. And then boom, right away we have our request to window open. So I'm gonna close all of these and let's expand this. From here, what you wanna do is we're gonna go down to Oculus. For our videos, we're gonna to go to Oculus. And for our photos, we're gonna go into another part. I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. We downloaded Android file transfer, hooked up our PC to our headset. Then we're gonna go down to Oculus video shots, pretty much gonna be the first one that I just did and we're transferring it. So as soon as that's done, that's how we get our video shots. Now, like I said earlier, let me show you how to get our photos. We're gonna go to Android data. Then here we're gonna look for King Spray, which is right, right there. King Spray, then we're gonna go to files, photos, oh, and I didn't take any photos, but they would be right there. If you go into saves, it's gonna have all the levels. So I was on the rooftop for this one. So if we go to the rooftop and we go to today's date, which is the 11th, and as you can see, let's grab our paint PNG. This is gonna grab just the painting section. Let's also grab the snapshot PNG and let's grab the thumbnail PNG, JPEG. I think these two would be the same images. The game will automatically sort of um just section out just the painting part of what you did. It's a PNG, a transparent background of just the graffiti. So this could be a really cool way to make stickers, make shirts. You could extract this art and turn it into actual things. Like I'm saying, shirts, stickers, mouse pads, hats. It only grabs the paint. So if you didn't fill in fully all the way, you could see that there's like, it's empty in this area. We're getting like some, um, what I call like a dusty fill in where it's not solid, um, but that's pretty cool. It gives you like a PNG of just the artwork that you painted. The game also produces what's called a Snapchat PNG, uh, snapshot PNG. And it'll basically just automatically create just an image of what you painted. So if I painted big, it would have captured the whole thing. If I would have painted smaller, it would have captured just that. So this snapshot PNG, it just captures what you did. So that's actually, that's pretty cool. And then thumbnail JPEG as well. That automatically creates a JPEG of just what you painted, but this is a thumbnail. So if we zoom in, we can see it's like pixelated. It's very low res. But it's pretty cool. I thought I wanted to share that information with you all. You can see we got our video right here. So as you can see, there is our third person point of view. I jumped around to the left angle. Look at that, such a cool perspective. So we're going from the left side. Now let's go to the right side. Underside view, looking upward at us. All that kind of fun stuff. But that's pretty much it. Now what I do is I like to use a, a few different platforms and devices. I myself am a Mac, like iPhone user. So what I do at this point is from my computer, I'll put it onto my Google Cloud and on my phone, I could download it, save it to my phone. And that's how you see that I'm posting it onto YouTube Shorts, onto Instagram, onto TikTok. So that's how I'm getting my content. Um, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope it gave you that insight so that now you guys can get your third person POV uh, gameplay footage and post it yourselves. If you guys are liking our videos, hit that like button, drop a comment below, and as always, subscribe. We have more tutorials, VR videos, and real life art videos coming your way. And um, yeah, other than that, see you guys in the next video. See you next week. Peace.